Here at MSU, students are asking what the university is doing to protect students of color and other minorities on campus. MSU has failed me and all other marginalized students, minority students as well, who rely on the university to keep us safe. Alexandra is one of several MSU students who recently testified at a Board of Regents meeting about hate-motivated death threats. One of the most recent threats sent to an MSU student organization stated that true Montanans will not stop until we expel all the groomers and colored people from our campus in Great State. According to an attorney representing one of the victims, the death threats are graphic and filled with explicit hateful language towards people of color and the LGBTQ community. This is one of the threats received by one of the victims over email. The attorney says MSU police investigated two of the threats, but nothing ever came of the investigation. I had to learn about this threat not through MSU, not through any student body organization, but through a friend who had only heard it from another friend, and I only learned that this threat was made more than a week after it had actually been sent to the university. Students are worried and concerned that the university has yet to address the threats. What will MSU do to help ensure my safety and my security as I live and work on campus? As a concerned student and person of color attending Montana State University, I would like to know um, if our institution has policy in place to address hate, crimes, and incidents on campus. We asked MSU about the threat, and Vice President of Communications Tracy Ellig responded via email that the first threat to QSA was deemed not credible. However, the investigations into the second threat, which contained, quote, reprehensible language, is still open. Ellig says the university immediately offered QSA members all of its support and safety services. Ellig goes on to say, Given that law enforcement did not identify a credible threat and that the author of these emails has such an incredibly low bar for sowing fear, writing a single anonymous email, we feel that issuing a statement would not only reward and encourage this horrible behavior. In the meantime, the student who personally received death threats has left her home state of Montana, afraid the threats may become a reality. In Bozeman, Jolie Salee, MTN News.